there's so many people out there that have a cancer story that I think a lot of people do connect with it. I was a kid who lost a parent to cancer, so I very well connect with, with this kind of thing. To be able to be there for, for another kid who is going through something very difficult, very confusing that I, I know all too well and I know, I, I know the ins and the outs to it, I've been through it, so I wanted to be able to be there to help whomever I could. So I went for an annual mammogram. There had been no cancer history in my family. I landed up being called back for a ultrasound. And through that ultrasound, I found out that I was um, diagnosed with a, tr a very, actually more rare breast cancer called triple negative. It's a ductal cancer and it was stage two. Being a single parent has been extremely difficult in this situation. You know, I've always been the everything to my son. I'm the sole supporter. When I was diagnosed, I was absolutely terrified about him more than me. I did not know how to react. It was like, if you break bones, you're just, you go into shock. You don't really know. You don't have pain. It was very hard because I wasn't really sure what I could do. Being a single mom, he also was in a crucial time of his life where being around male role models is so crucial. Yeah, Waka Sally called me up, told me a little bit about this, uh, this kid that I got matched with, and you know, he likes basketball, I love basketball. We got a chance to meet, and I, I just knew right off the bat, this is, this is a good kid, he's such a, he's such a great guy. Well, at Liam's age, my father had actually already passed. He died when I was 13 from brain cancer. Of course, when he passed, it just made it that much more difficult. So not having that sort of male role model made it really, really tough. I grew up sort of very, very fast in that scenario. Like, like any kid that potentially you know, loses, their, loses their parent or is, has a parent that's battling. Yeah, it was very eye-opening that there was someone else out there that has a similar story to me and that we both can talk about it openly. It's so crucial to make sure that the mentee and mentor really connect on a lot of different levels because if they don't have that, then there's gonna be no way that someone's going to really expose their feelings and be able to express their fears and concerns. Hopefully Brian and I can be friends for infinity. I mean, that's the entire purpose of Walk with Sally, to have friends that last a very, if not infinite time. And that's what I see with Brian and I. Honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to be his friend at this point, you know? So, um, and I, I do see this, this being a friendship that lasts a lifetime. I don't see why it shouldn't be. I don't see why it couldn't be by any means.